cobalt, uh, it's probably my favorite nutrient that I've learned about in the last recent years. In, in the plants world or in our agronomy world, uh, cobalt, Kelly and I affectionately call it mother's bilk. It's got a lot of, like beans for instance, soybeans, any legume fixing uh, plants, it's, it's, cobalt is really important in the en enzyme fixing microbial world, like rhizo rhizobium and stuff. Cobalt's a key initiator in that, so it's really important in that crop. Other functions in all the other crops, so the slowing down of light leaf senescence and late season, like corn right now, we're in fall, plants are dying, maturing, and helps that plant stay healthier longer. Um, helps with germination. We actually used it on some wheat seed this year uh, in, in with seed treatment, and I think we've really got a better stand by using that in furrow. Um, so it's it's really a neat a neat element. Um, has a lot of plant health benefits that and with enzyme reactions within the plant. A couple of things we know about cobalt is it helps with one drought resistance. So in drought areas, applying cobalt. The last couple of years have been pretty droughty around here in western Iowa, so adding that in has helped with water efficiencies and drought tolerance. Uh, the other thing is, is probably getting into the hormone side of it. It helps block that ethylene, ethylene hormone, which is a trigger for the plant uh, in its hormonal cycle. It's, it's like, okay, ethylene, once it sees a spike in ethylene, it's like, okay, I'm stressed. Now what do I do? So it helps block that. Some enzyme reactions with cobalt that help suppress that, make the plant think, hey, we're all right. We're not stressed out at the moment. We've seen that with applications in the field, especially specifically beans, because I think, you know, with that end fixing piece with the legumes and stuff, you see a better result. Uh, it just seems like we get better plant health out of those plants. And in that plant health with the cobalt, we tend to get a need less synthetic fungicides and plant health products uh, as we apply them. Cobalt can be applied in a, two ways that we've I've applied it. One's the seed treatment with a couple products that we use. It's just, you know, like soybeans, treat them with it. It's just a nutritional package, there's nothing else with it. And the other way is just a foliar application. I haven't found a dry product yet to go spread on the soil. Just, it seems like the foliar application is the way to go with cobalt. So like a cobalt deficiency, I couldn't today tell you what it looks like. I don't, I don't think it's one of those more visible ones. You know, cobalt in the soil is not a highly available, highly known nutrient. So it's really become a foliar feed type seed treatment application. And it just seems like anytime we have a product with cobalt in it, we get a pretty size, nice response to the plant health, yield response. And so we've been adding a little bit more and more into our recommendations as years have gone by.